now's the perfect time to talk about toilets. Um, I did put a video up right before this, just talking briefly about what you can do immediately with uh, alternative to toilet paper. And basically I just said use a bidet system, a sprayer, and I was even thinking of using a handle like on this the end here uh, to clean yourself with or one of those reusable gloves and you could just have your personal one that you use so you don't have to share. Just ideas to use immediately so you don't you don't have to buy to toilet paper. And uh, so you could watch that video for that, that information. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted to talk in detail about composting toilets and all the options. These are all the things that I'm going to use for basically to make a composting toilet. And I don't like using wood. I like using plastic because it's just cleaner, it feels better, it doesn't warp, it doesn't fade over time. You know, with urine, you know, it just gets everywhere. And you don't have to repaint it or anything. So that's why I always think plastic. And basically, when you uh, buy a composting toilet for an RV or tiny house or anywhere in your house, it's always expensive. It's, it's five or six hundred bucks for the cheapest one that you could find all the way up to a thousand and more and I thought that was kind of ridiculous just because basically all a comp composting toilet is is just a plastic chamber to hold the solids and then a urine diverter where it just separates the the liquids from the solids and that's pretty much it it's just a glorified bucket and so <clears throat> you don't have to do anything more than just a little bucket I've I've used as small as this before and this is a five gallon bucket and that's probably half that and that's probably half half the I don't know half of this so basically all you do is you just have a bucket and a container that you divert the urine with uh, for girls you can buy one of those unisex or uh, little devices that go into that you could Put into here and, and girls can use it or you can get a little more elaborate and get a urine diverter this one has dirt in it um, but this is like the example that I'm talking about is basically you could just use dirt for the solids and then for the diverter uh, you could basically just take a something a container pretty much anything and cut it cut the top off here and you have a urine diverter and you can look up uh, some other ideas on your ur urine diverters but essentially it's just separating the liquids from the solids and it just kind of separates it in half and then solids go in there and liquids go out front and uh, the reason why you do that is because it's, if you can keep this dry kind of like dog poop in the yard once the dog poop dries out, it stops smelling. So that's the, the exact concept with this, is that if you uh, do your number two, and then you just cover it over with some dirt uh, and dry that out as fast as possible, then the smell goes away. And dirt is the most plentiful you could use, of course. Uh, it's not the best because it's not high in carbon. And uh, that's why some people use all different sorts of things um, uh, like leaves, like you could rake some leaves up and use those uh, wood chips and other things like that. And those do a lot better to dry it out faster and it gets the smell away immediately. And that's what a lot of people think is that these, you know, what if it smells up the room or a house or whatever. And it really doesn't. Even if you use dirt, um, I've used dirt before and uh, since dirt is not the best, I do get a little bit of a smell if I stick my face closer about right here. And if this is closed, I actually don't smell anything. Uh, but if you use high carbon stuff, ashes or anything else, then the smell like goes away so fast. Uh, and, uh, and, and it's really doable. So this is just a way of being self-sufficient with this. And then, um, you know, we've seen these before for RVs and whatever. But uh, I don't really like them because it mixes everything. And that's uh, basically sewage that uh, once urine gets in there, you can't dry it out and urine gets really, really pungent. 
and and ammonia and everything it just smells so bad that's why it smells so bad and this doesn't hold very much and you have to dump it really soon and that's the reason why you can divert another reason why to divert the urine is because you're constantly filling up um, with urine and you have to dispose of that somehow the number two it doesn't fill up as fast I mean you you could just uh, calculate in your mind how many times you uh, go you urinate and I mean it just fills up within a couple days this two two and a half gallon jug will will fill up with a couple people you know and then if you don't these uh, portable loo things you could get at Walmart and they work really well I've used this before it is clean by the way so um, I don't I don't like touching dirty stuff <laughs> but uh, so don't worry um, but you can also use uh, these little pool noodle things and just kind of slice it right there and then put it around the rim I've seen designs like that makes it really simple fast and you got one right away so basically what I've done is I kept my mind kept my creative mind going and um, basically thought of all these different ideas to use for a composting toilet basically these are just bigger tanks just bigger uh, buckets <laughs> And so these are um, carpet cleaning vacuums that I bought from the University Surplus. Bought them for five bucks each. And essentially this one, it's already a toilet. I mean, basically I'm just, it's amazing. And I just take, I just take out the fan that's bad or the uh, motor and put something else there, another fan or whatever. But basically, I have I have it right here uh, available. If I wanted, you can use this immediately, and um, you know you would have everything mixed in there. But and then there's a drain in the back already. And but this is already designed to hold you know a bunch of dirty liquid. So this is all ready to go if you wanted. And then from there you can. Um, put a toilet on there, put a diverter on there, which I got creative with a diverter. I might put that in there with a, a hole. And then uh, there's the separator, liquids from the solids. So that's the concept there. And then this one was a little bit of a different design. So I had to think differently. Um, but I thought, you know, this is almost the size of this, and it fit perfectly, so I thought that was awesome. And then a uh, diverter would be right there, and I thought the, the urine can go right into the tank, and then the, the back end of it can just have a, a bucket, a bigger bucket than this, but so solids go right in here under there, and then you just go straight into this the bigger tank and it'll hold a lot more liquid and you could just drain it in the back or have it hooked up to a jug in the back and you could keep taking the jug somewhere and dumping it so this is my portable portable loo portable latrine essentially it's the same thing as a porta potty without the walls around it so that's that's that I thought that was awesome you ever find one of those for a deal i mean it's five bucks so awesome way cheaper same concept so here's uh my next creative idea which was the same surplus place had a a catering ice uh this is an ice uh transporter that used to have wheels on it and so they fill it up with ice and then basically they have a way to transport it um, I thought toilet you know this is great for you know a more permanent situation for a tiny house like I'm building there if I wanted to put that in there and then it already had a drain plug in there down on the bottom for the liquids and then just the trash can for the for the solids and I'll just put a toilet seat on top that's all ready to go and then 
where that where it drains out the bottom it'll go down to the ground with uh, kind of like a French drain type of situation so I don't after ever have to worry about the liquid part of it I just have to change out the solids to a composting pile and you could do some more research on the comps composting pile and everything but uh, I just saw you know another idea here with a, an old cooler same idea it's smaller portable and it's made of plastic so you don't have to worry about it, it has the the urine you know drain on it already too so and then you just need a smaller bucket to put it in but uh, that's good camping transporting you know place where you you can uh, or a bug out place or something and you just put one of these pop-up tents these changing pop-up tents right over it you got your portable bathroom and it, it's gonna keep the smell away you could use wood chips and whatever and uh, for cleaning sani sanitation in my other video I just posted you could use uh, <clears throat> you can make colloidal copper or colloidal silver if you're out camping and you got a campfire you can make uh, you can get the lye extract the lye out of the ashes and you can use that for sanitation and then uh, with the colloidal copper with the lye and the or the colloidal silver mix you have it in water and you could put it in one of these pressurized tanks um, fertilizer things pressurize it and then you could spray whatever you want you could put a you know a faucet on the end of it or actually just use this somehow you could mount mount this on the back for a bidet system does that make sense yeah <laughs> so you could even bend this a little bit I mean without creasing in a bend there but and then you just have a little lever that you just you just spray so those are just quick ideas this thing actually I had an idea for this for a kind of like a urinal that you would find in a porta potty and that would <clears throat> for uh, for the boys to use you know if they want to frequently use something like that makes it faster cleaner so it's not splattering all over the place and that's a problem with the boys stuff so um, I found this little hand pump and I never knew these existed but there's a little hand pump that you could use for water hook up your drill to it and pump water and you could have a these are just ideas I mean I've had so many ideas that you can uh, just take off with your own and uh, for a urine diverter basically I've had so many ideas you could use essentially anything and you could take a water like a garden waterer can a plastic one Home Depot Walmart and stuff or something turn it upside down cut the top off and you've got a urine diverter and I've I've had other ideas even with my mom's portable salon hair washing station <laughs> so she wasn't using it anymore so this is our pretty much already set up for a urine diverter and for the for the number two and for the urine even for a bidet system is big enough you could just uh, clean yourself and that'll just divert the liquids out somewhere and uh, hopefully this covers everything but these are things that you could hand off that you could have off hand right away you probably even find this stuff around your house and it is clean and it and you feel like you're uh, like you could like it's not a dirty thing and smelly and you, you're not in survival mode it feels like you could actually handle it some people have converted to this idea full time and they don't want to go back because this is actually more sanitary with the um, uh, using your own bidet system you don't have to use toilet paper it's waterless other than the stuff you clean yourself with and uh, it doesn't use any plumbing whatsoever and so you don't have to rely on a plumber or worry about uh, losing a supply of water uh, or the plumbing going bad a leakage or blockage or anything like that so a lot of people are going in this direction 
and uh, I feel like we're going in this direction anyways just because of you know of what we're experiencing and I I believe it's going to become more necessary to become self-sufficient uh, and this this system this gridlock system that we're in that we have to pay bills for I believe it's gonna phase out and be old-fashioned this is this is uh, we can take our new technology and apply it into things that uh, are cleaner for the environment anyways and we could keep reusing uh, our our own fertilizer for gardens after our compost for a year or two so people are sold on this after the more research I do on it I'm like I'm sold on this I want to keep going in this direction and uh, so hopefully this will give you thorough enough ideas on your own if you're thinking ahead thinking ahead of the game uh, but here you go God bless uh, that's the most important thing let Jesus Christ be in your heart and uh, walk side by side with you